Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, for the 7-bit Hamming code, we have been given the 4 data bits and the 3 parity bits. So here, we have been asked to select the value of x and y such that this 7-bit Hamming code is the valid code. Now here, since it is not explicitly mentioned, so we will assume that the given 7-bit Hamming code follows the even parity. And assuming that, now let us find the value of this x and y. So first of all, let us write down these data bits and the parity bits in the 7-bit Hamming code form. So as we know, these parity bits are placed at the positions which is in the power of 2 and the remaining bits are the data bits where this D4 is the MSB and the D1 is the LSB. So first of all, let us put the values of these data bits and the parity bits in this given code. So if you have followed my recent video on the main channel, then in the video of Hamming code, we have seen that these parity bits represents the parity of the certain bits in the overall code. So this parity bit P1 represents the parity of these bit positions 3, 5, 7 and the P1, where the P1 is at the bit position 1. Likewise, this parity bit P2 represents the overall parity of these bit positions 3, 6, 7 and P2, where this P2 is the bit number 2. Likewise, this parity bit P3 represents the overall parity of these bit positions 5, 6, 7 and the P3. And these parity bits P1, P2 and P3 are selected such that the overall parity of the group remains even. So with the help of this parity bit P1, let us find the value of x. So as you know, this parity bit P1 is set such that the bits at the position 3, 5, 7 and the parity bit P1 itself has the overall even parity. So here, this parity bit P1 is equal to 1 while the bits at the position 3, 5 and 7 are 0, 1 and x. Now here, the value of x should be such that the overall parity of this group will remain even. That means here, the value of x should be equal to 0 so that the overall parity of the group will remain even. That means from this, we can say that this x is equal to 0. Similarly, with the help of this parity bit P3, let us find the value of y. So as you know, this parity bit P3 represents the overall parity of this parity bit P3 and the bits which are at the position number 5, 6 and the 7. And the overall parity of this group should be equal to E1. So here, this parity bit P3 is equal to y, while the bits at the position number 5, 6 and 7 are 1, 1 and 0. So as you can see, for the even parity, the value of this y should be equal to 0, so that the parity of this group will remain even. That means the value of y should also be equal to 0. That means from this we can say that for the given 7-bit Hamming code, the value of x and the value of y should be equal to 0. And hence, for the given question, this b is the correct answer.